Hello everyone and welcome back to the Alien vs Predator Galaxy YouTube channel. My name is Adam Zeller aka Ridgetop. And this is Aaron Percival aka Corporal Hicks. And we are continuing on with our Predator campaign Let's Play for Aliens vs Predator 2 by Monolith Productions. This is uh, Predator Mission 2 which is Trap. And things just got uh, interesting for our Royalty Predator. It's those bastards down there stole his friends. Those bastards. Which if you think about it, hunt for the title for the first one's actually a bit of a uh, two-way thing. Because Rykoff was hunting those guys. Indeed. I do love the, the player model for the, the normal one. Yeah, they all have a very, like, comic booky stylized look. Which I dig. Doesn't that APC attack you if you stay... No, no, you can't stay too long, can you? Because it drives off, but... I have vague memories of being lit me, up by me that. Me too, yeah. Um, there's the... If I hit it with the spear gun. No. I think you mm -hmm. have to, like, shoot them immediately. And it'll start attacking you. Okay. Don't forget your, your logs. Oh, yeah. So, Whalen yutani debriefing the incident, Appendix M, Rykov's journal. The attack has begun. Our modified EMP grenades work. It is fitting that we use their own technologies against them. We have taken two of the creatures. I shall call them predators. With surprise gone, I have ordered the teams to withdraw. It is one matter to sacrifice a scientific team as bait. It is another to throw my soldiers carelessly into the predator's path. We must not underestimate the killing power of these beasts. It seems as though various characters are always coming up with the nickname Predator. <laughs> How mm -hmm. convenient. <laughs> well, you know, they, they had a vote. Oh, and it was cooler. Yeah. I still love that part of, um, <laughs> of Predator. The Predator. Bink. Well, At least Rykov's nice enough Bink. not to... Uh... <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take them both. For the wall. Oh, yeah, I mean, at least too? at least Rykov's nice enough to uh, oh, not want to waste his own guys. Yeah, only the science nerds let them yeah. die. That's because they're Eisenberg's uh, people, and Eisenberg's a major bell end. So we said in the last, well, we were sort of asking in the last video about had Rykov really had anything to do with the predators after. Um, he's running with them on that. Um, I think it was a farming planet. I can't remember. Um, and he must have if they've got some tech based off of the Predator tech. Oh. Oh man. There we go. <laughs> that was that was some. I don't. I don't think you deserve that trophy. If I'm being mm. honest. Can you pick up these spears too? Oh, yeah, you yeah, should be you able can. to. Yeah. You can just pick up the missed individual ones. Uh, so we had actually recorded this episode before, but it didn't record properly, so we're doing it again. But one of the things I noticed was just how cool and alien this world looks. Like these, uh, I guess... Uh, kind of like the top rock of fungi, face don't they? Mushrooms, yeah, or something like that. Um, and these orange well, there's, trees. There's some more um, fungus, mushroomy things at the bottom as well, isn't there? Mm -hmm. We should see them in a second here. They, I, I always think they did a good job with the um, the fauna and the flora in this game, you know, making it stand out more. Yeah, there they are, right down there. Because I think that, that was a comment that was made in one of the journals on the last one as well. You know about how this was a planet that was used for uh, hunting by the predator. You know for their, you know the the challenging, interesting native life forms. I'm sure the predators, because you also have the the pilot ruins here. The predators were interested in studying mm -hmm. those for themselves and using them to collect aliens. Yeah, for sure. But I mean, there was more to the planet than just uh, that. It was skipping the bottom. Um, well, yeah, I suppose you, you don't need to. Don't yeah, need it's to. just a couple turrets over there, and those guys. I'm going to sneak by. Mm. i got to go rescue my friends. 
I don't remember if we really see much of the local, um, you know, the life forms in in AVP two. I, I know you're certainly doing primal, primal hunt, hunt, yeah. But you have some funky stuff in this one, you know, like the the trees that um, burp gas. Oh, oh, he knows his friend's gone. I'm gonna go check out his head. <laughs> <laughs> the spear gun is very satisfying in this one. Yeah, I don't think we have our plasma caster yet at all. No, is it, the game is very slow giving you your kit. So I think you get your plasma caster after you've been um, captured, and I think it's one of your brothers. You don't get the you don't get the plasma pistol until the last level. I do like how it has the little trophy skull count in the lower left, mm -hmm. even though that doesn't really uh, amount to any now, score or anything. Back in this day, there wasn't really any sort of reward for that kind of thing. I mean, nowadays, you'd probably get an achievement for it, but not now, not in this, but it was still cool. I suppose at the end of the day, it could have given you bragging rights. I'm going the wrong way. It's over here. There okay. you go. All these tree jumping challenges. I think they only really last these first two levels. I'm going to go ahead and recharge my power. Oh, and this is the bit with the dropships Dro in Yeah. There. It's cool seeing them fly through this tall canyon. Oh, wait for him. Wait for him. Here they are. With the Whalen Utani markings. Same as the APCs earlier. There they go. Yeah, that's cool. So I don't really think that's anything the other games have given us at this point was, you know good views of of that kind of thing. Though Classic did have some good shots of like the predator ship. Actually, coming to pick you up. I mean, wasn't there a bit in uh, Classic where you see the dropship uh, docked with the station and the Predators blasted away? Yes. From the yes. Yeah, that was a cool yeah bit. that that was the start of um, oh what was the station called? I can't remember what the station was called. Uh, it's after you escape um, LV four two six. He's on the tree. What? <gasps> How did you get up there? Go to, go to normal view. Go to normal view. He must have climbed the ladder. I guess. Wow. Oh yeah, seen, they do. Never yeah. seen that before. And remember your quick save because this is the there bit with the. Okay, quick save. Yeah. <laughs> this is the bit with the combat in. Yeah, I'm gonna get him quickly though. Come on, what are you doing? Ah. Were you hitting the? You mad man? <laughs> oh damn. Oh man. You might have been hitting. I the was tree. a little too cocky there. Oh, the rock. F9. Oh, good thing I quick saved. Good thing I reminded <laughs> you. All right, now I'm gonna get you. Why aren't you? They don't always go down in one, mate. Oh, not even with the spear headshot. No. Oh, that's the disc. Okay. You're out. You're out. But if you go, will it lock onto him if you go to? Um... Oh, hang on. You know, Dad. Yeah, I need to heal. I can't remember if it locks onto him in one of the other vision modes. I don't think it does. But I could try. Well, Let's get hit. some uh, energy back. No, it doesn't. I got them both. I got two, yes, nice. There we go. Oh, there we go. That was a good shot. And there's a couple of heads still around for you to go and get some spears back as well. Ooh. We'll go ahead and collect an extra one. Oh. I'm, I'm not. I'm not. Sure, I'm not sure <laughs> that works, mate. I'm figuring things out here. Okay, so shift is crap. Oh, his head just. Oh, there he goes. 
There's one. There's another one. <laughs> and there's another one in the tree somewhere as well. Yeah, I'm not going to go look for it. You can see it in your vision mode. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. Maybe I will get, get it now. I don't know. Where do they find you people? <laughs> From the extra brave marine that went climbing. What do you think of the tree jumping challenges in this one? I know we mocked the sort of tree design yeah, earlier. But... It's not quite as fluid as it is in 2010, but it also feels a bit more natural and less mechanical than the lock-on jump thing. See, and I always in... found... Ilphonics, Sorry, it's, go. it's going to be like a lock-on jump thing, right? You played it. I don't think it's necessarily a, a lock-on kind of jump thing, more of a trail, I guess, like nearly everything's accessible for you to climb on. I did at times think it was a bit on rails in that the, it was too fast, as in I was going places I didn't necessarily want to go. But it doesn't feel like but, automatic, does it? It did at times. Yeah, that's what I mean by it felt on rails, was like when I went too fast towards an edge where I wanted to stop and look, but I kept going over. Hmm. But I did. it was something I pointed out in, in my, um, my hands-on article. And I know Ilphonic's seen it, so I don't know if that's perhaps something that's been amended since then. I'm sure there's been a few tweaks, yeah. Well, that was Mission 2 for the Predator campaign for APP2. Uh, if you made it this far, thanks for watching the video. We always appreciate a like and any feedback you may have. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and keep playing through this, and we should be posting these daily before too long. And Aaron will be on the next mission, which is Interloper. So this has been... Looking forward to it. Ridgetop. And Corporal Hicks, signing off.